joins us. She was there today as lawmakers listened to the heart-wrenching story of one woman who reported that she was stalked by her ex and nearly lost her life. Emily. That woman told senators on the Corrections and Criminal Law Committee that it was a miracle she was even alive and able to come here today and tell her story in support of this bill becoming a law. You think you're doing something, but you're not. You're, you're right there. He had access every single time I started my car. Millie Park stood before lawmakers Tuesday and told them about the day she almost died two years ago when her ex-boyfriend, who she had a protective order against, stabbed her in the heart. The horror in that moment is just unfathomable. You cannot even imagine. Park explained how her ex was able to find her because he'd installed a tracking device similar to this one on her car without her knowing it. It put every person I went to stay with, every person I had in contact with in danger. That's why Park said she was there to support Senate Bill 161, which would make it a crime to follow someone with a tracking device without them knowing it. The proposed law would also make it an even more serious crime if that person had a protective order against the person tracking them. A suspect would face even more prison time if they used the tracking device to find someone and then commit a felony. We also need to work on, you know, the companies that, you know, market these uh, devices and allow just individuals to purchase them. Under SB 161, vehicle manufacturers that install tracking and GPS devices in newer model cars and trucks would be excluded from prosecution. The bill's author, Republican Senator Michael Kreider, said the bill needed more work to address whether private investigators should be able to use the devices and whether family members who track someone could also do so without fear of being prosecuted. This is this is pretty complicated when you get down to all the variables that might exist. For Millie Park, it's very simple. She believes Hoosiers need protection from being stalked. And I'll keep telling my story until things get changed. The bill passed out of the committee by a unanimous vote and now heads to the Senate.